Welcome to Brick Trains, I'm Joey, and today we have a little show and tell. So I recently acquired this 6971 box from Dad Bod, uh, Barnes Bricks on Bricklink. And it's got a really cool plastic shell inside, the internals. Uh, the end of the box is missing, but that's, that's okay. And I already have the set. So here's the instructions that we already currently own. This is the, what is this? The intergalactic command base. Does it say that on here anywhere? A lot of times it does. Intergalactic command base. I was going to say a lot of times the American versions or the U.S. North American versions set extra things. $35.97 at Toys R Us. So, yeah, you're probably asking. Cool. Cool box lid. Cool. The... The, the way they did the artwork back then was so cool. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's playing with it kind of, you know, as it is. You know, you could take it apart, do different things, and uh, I don't know, the, the artwork back then was, was really kind of cool. Maybe it's just the overwhelming nostalgia I have for this stuff. Okay, so here's the thing. I got the set, normally during these little show and tells, I would uh, build the set, and then uh, then we'd look at the set and just kind of see kind of what it was all about. The problem is this set's already built, and it's over there in the space cabinet. So we're going to take off and go over there, make our way back over, and here we are. Let's see. I guess this is the front, all right? 6971. First off, let's see, did I build it correctly? I think I built it correctly. So, in my opinion, the way I collect, I now have a completed set. I have instructions, the set, and I have the box, thanks to DadBot. Why does that not look like it's, I guess that's the way it goes. <laughs> I guess it's going to take me a minute to kind of play with this and see where everything's at. Uh, we should have, yeah, we have the little extra spaceship here. Did we build it correctly? Well, hang on a second. Okay, this is the, this is the one. Oh, we're missing a spaceship. Okay, so I'm going to return to the space cabinet and look for, we got to find... We're gonna find that spaceship right there. So let's see if we can go find that. Okay, so yes, we almost had a moment there. Because <laughs> I thought I had lost a whole spaceship. I had actually lost a whole spaceship. He had got placed over on the, uh, shall we show the yellow and red Lego shelves? He got placed on those shelves and was separated. So. He was separated from his his family, his set. So, anyway, we have recovered him. We found him. He was just he was actually sitting there with another set that doesn't have any instructions or box or anything with it. So, he's probably separated from his family too. <laughs> so, okay. Anyway, we have three minifigs. We have the black suited Lego spaceman, air tanks. We have, all right, get back on there. We have the yellow one on the little tricycle, tri-motor, tri-space little vehicle. So you got the yellow suited guy. Okay. And we got the blue guy in our missing little, little wedgie ship here. Pretty good looking little ship, actually. I kind of like these little wedgie ships. So he's got the uh, red antenna. Pretty cool. Big engine in the back. So you gotta really hold on tight in this thing. A lot of swooshability in this. We also have our rocket, which, let's see, make sure we got it built right. Cause somebody will call me out if I don't have it built right. Yeah, here we got our rocket with 
movable radar dishes. They also fall apart. Okay. Very interesting little satellite I'm guessing they're launching here. And he fits right on this little carriage which slides in when it's in the open position. Slides right in there. Yeah, except you're going to have this turned the other way. <laughs> Even though in the picture they're turned that way, but they got to be turned this way for you to slide in. And then the doors can't close. Woo. That's all right, though. But this is a pretty cool little mechanism here. It's just, it's just uh, a little carriage sitting on some, uh, some tiles here. So... Pretty cool little deal. You your fins sit down in the uh, in there, and the rocket sits down in it. There's a Technic pin that the uh, rocket engine kind of fits on. It marries it in there together pretty nicely. And uh, yeah, nice little launch. I believe this ship launched from here, like that. You can raise that up and down. Get that to launch, and I'm not sure what this guy's doing, but it shows on the book that he's sitting there. I'm guessing he's surveying the spaceship as it takes off. Surely he's not shooting it down, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we got the antennas here, lots of trans yellow, these red little radar dish type things. The red ones are not, I mean, they're all kind of rare now at this point. The clear ones are the ones that are absolutely horrible to get. Getting these in clear, very hard, very expensive. Probably not as hard to get as they are just expensive to get. So, this set came with, well, it first came out in 1984. It came with 328 pieces-ish, depending on who you believe. This says 312 interlocking pieces. Brick set says 328. I did not look on BrickLink to see how many pieces they said it gets. I uh, do have the three minifigs, the yellow, the blue, and the black outfit. Uh, two vehicles, two flying vehicles. That's pretty cool. If you want to get one of these sealed right now, as of January 2023, there's one on eBay for $4,539, something like that, and it's in Japan. Four thousand dollars for a sealed copy of this. Uh, a used one will cost you between one hundred and fifty and three hundred dollars. That all depends on condition of the pieces, uh, completeness of the pieces, if it has instructions, how good the instructions are, or and if it has a box. The instructions are going to cost you somewhere between ten and fifty dollars. Again, that's all condition. And right now, there's two boxes for sale on BrickLink. $52 and $91, basically. So, and they are actually in pretty good, decent condition. Both of them were complete boxes, and they have this really cool, uh, let's see which camera we're gonna try and show that on. Got this really cool little uh, classic space logo insert. And uh, although the one, somebody's drawn a face on the, on the guy, the poor kid, he's got a beard now, <laughs> so. Yeah, so that's uh, that's this little set, sixty nine seventy one. Uh, again, another one that I've, you know, I started out with. This I think I bought. I think most of this came in a bulk lot. There are little radar dishes. They kind of move on these roses. Kind of bought this in a bulk lot. Pieced it together. Uh, I don't know if I got the instructions. It's been a little while, so I'm not sure if I got the instructions. In the bulk lot, I bought a big space bulk lot and had lots of part had lots of parts in it, and I've just slowly been working, or ha I have been. I'm pretty much done with that now. I got several of them bagged up, several of them sitting in the in the office that I still need to kind of go through where I've collected the parts and made the sets and you know got to make sure I got the instructions and get the boxes and stuff. Um, but this is another one with the uh, gift that Dad bought gave me with the box that gets this one complete. So I uh, appreciate that, and um, go check him out, Barnes Bricks on BrickLink, and um, 
Yeah. Look, yeah, okay. I was going to say, it looked like there was something missing there, but there's not. So, I love my classic space. Uh, I, you know, as much as I do trains, I love classic space, and I am just slowly working through getting all of the sets from this era, getting them... Uh, getting them together, getting the parts, getting the instructions, and that order, right? And the, usually you need the instructions, but you know, if you can get the parts, the instructions, and then try to work on a box. Unless it's cheaper to buy a whole complete, <laughs> uh, then that would be. I am, I am refusing at this point, I've kind of changed my mind, I am refusing to buy sealed vintage sets at, at this point, uh, because the premium on them is so high, and you know, we have seen so many problems with with set lego sets in particular that have set and you know the parts have either become deteriorated especially if there's rubber pieces inside or warped um i've seen the trans parts where they've kind of if they've been laying against some of the other abs style parts where why is that not there we go oh that's why it was not folding down earlier uh, it was, you know, you get your, um, where they'll kind of lay on each other and they'll, they'll, it looks like they kind of melted into each other, but it's, it's really just the incompatibility between some of the parts. It's, uh, a little bit of heat doesn't kind of activates that a little bit. So yeah, I, I you know, I kind of worry about these, especially sets that are getting this old, you know, you're starting to talk about 30, 40, 50 years old on some of these sealed sets. Uh, yeah. It's a cautionary tale, especially if you're going to plan to open it and uh, uh, build it. Um, may not be what you think you're going to get in that sealed set. So I have decided to not buy sealed sets, and I have no uh, sealed vintage sets. But I have no problem with uh, piecing them together and, and uh, you know collecting the instructions in the boxes. A lot of times piecing these together is better if you already have a pretty good collection of these colors, the blues, the whites, the light gray, because you can kind of, if you're, you know, for yourself, you can kind of sort the colors together because these colors, they faded so badly. And, you know, some of them faded to the green side and some just yellowed. So if you want your model to look a little more consistent within the model, you kind of part your, uh, or piece your parts together and you can kind of, you know, uh, match the color or the tone of the colors a little better. Uh, I know a lot of people on BrickLink part these together and then try to sell them and then they, you know, they may not as pay as much attention. Some of them may pay way more attention to it than I do, but it's a, you know, it's another one. Make sure you ask for pictures of the BrickLink seller if they don't have pictures online or the same for eBay. You know, if you're buying something from eBay, make sure you, they got plenty of pictures. See what you're getting. So, all right. That's it. I uh, it's a little kind of show and tell for set six nine six nine seven one, the intergalactic command base. Great little great little set. Two base plates. It's a great little set. Thanks for watching. So you made it to the end of the line, which is better than my camera did. Yep, that was my main camera, uh, a Canon XF four hundred five, and it rode craps. So I guess we're going to find a new camera or I'll use one of the older cameras. So what are you going to do?